Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. This is the look that I wore in my foundation routine video. And someone had asked me, he's like, hey, do you have a tutorial on this video? I was like, no, but I can do one. Uh, so I was like, you know, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> And I really wanted to do this to kind of show you guys the lip combo that I'm wearing actually. It's the NYX High Voltage Lipsticks and I really love this combo and of course other colors that they have in there to mix and match. And then I'm also using the Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette before you click out because you're like, girl, that's limited edition or it's coming out again. It was supposed to re-release in February, but they've actually been pushing it back and pushing it back. Um, I don't know if it's going to be sometime in March, but follow the Morphe brushes as well as the Jaclyn Hill to see, you know, they'll post an update when that's going to be re-released but it's great because it's 28 eyeshadows um, and I really love these and before you X out because you do not want to you know spend your time you know online for a couple hours as I was spent a couple hours you still can get these single eyeshadows individually so if you don't want a whole palette 28 eyeshadows um, their single eyeshadows are only two dollars so you can pick up the colors that I use specifically or any other colors that you want and I will list down below during the video as well as in the description bar which colors I use and honestly I use I think four colors and you can actually just use three because <laughs> um, I use an extra one underneath my lash line but uh, you can get these individually or you can get the whole palette if you like it I really like these colors I was actually impressed with the pigmentation of them and how well they blend so I really like these and I'll definitely be picking up some more Morphe shadows so if you guys want to see how I got this look honestly it's really simple <laughs> it's really easy the eye is really easy and you can substitute all the other products um, so if you want to see this look just keep on watching so I've started by priming my eyes with MAC's Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I really love, love, love this primer. I'm sure I have different ones, but I just love these because they not only prime your eyes, but they also kind of set it. Um, they cancel out any veins and it's just like a really nice base. And we're going to start off with this color from the Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette. And I don't know them off the top of my head because there's so many, but I will make sure to kind of list it down below so you can get the individual eyeshadows if you don't already have the palette. But that is just like the corner one. If you're looking at, at it straight on, it's like the left side. It's that shimmery shade, so I'm just gonna take that and place that right underneath my brow bone just to start. You can do this before or after. I always switch it up. Uh, but this is a really shimmery shade, so start off with a little bit and build it up. And then in the second row, same kind of side, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is a really nice soft brown color. And I'm just going to take that with a fluffy brush, any fluffy brush. And I'm using the Sonia Kashuk. It's a fluffy brush. I don't know. I don't know if um, I don't know if her brushes have a lot of names on them. So I'm just going to take that and just kind of put that all over kind of a um, blending shade crease, like right above, and just blend it out. And this I'm just doing a lot of circular motions just to kind of buff that color in. And I honestly just go kind of messily around the edges. I really don't care because today I did my foundation first but I made sure to hold off on the concealer. Because um, I'm going to do that, help that wipe off anything. I try to stay somewhat in there but I kind of don't care. <laughs> but we're going to wipe off the concealer to kind of make a crisp edge. This is just a creating a, like a nice transition shade for the darker, a little bit darker color we're gonna put in the crease. Then I'm gonna go right here, this is the third row, and I'm gonna take this color right here, it's one, two, three, four, <laughs> in the middle with kind of a more stiff blending brush, a little smaller, so I can really get into the crease. And I'm just gonna place that, I like to kind of keep my eye open so I can find my direct crease and just kind of blend it in there. And I like to do windshield wiper motions as well as kind of circular motions to really kind of buff that out. Low key, this is a really easy look. <laughs> it's just a lot of browns, a lot of blending. Sometimes I'll take it in the corner like that just to kind of enhance that V shape a little bit. And then go back in, no additional product, but I'm just using that big fluffy brush just to blend it out even more. Then in the second row, I'm going to go in with this kind of nice shimmery brown shade and just place that right onto my lid. So I'm going to take some Fix Plus and just spritz that onto my brush 
and then that's just gonna enhance that color. So I like this, this is a nice bronzy color. It's not too dark, so it's still like daytime appropriate. You can, you know, you can always deepen, you know, and kind of uh, do a smoky eye to kind of make it more nighttime appropriate. You can go from day to night with this, actually, but it's still pretty kind of neutralish at <laughs> daytime as well. Then I'm just gonna go in with that crease brush, no additional product, but just to help kind of blend this out so it doesn't look harsh. Everything's transitioning together. And that's it. So because I have dark circles, first before my concealer, I'm gonna take this NYX Dark Circle Concealer. This is like a peachy tone corrector, so the oranges are kind of gonna help cancel out that darkness I got going on because I do not get enough sleep. It's like I can either, I don't sleep or I sleep way too much. I don't have a very good balance. So that just kind of helped get rid of that a little bit. And then just kind of pat it in. And yeah. Look at the difference the concealer makes. So then I'm going to go ahead and take the Wet n Wild Fergie Concealer. This is the Come Correct. I have mine in the color Medium Beige. Um, and I'm going to just use this for today. Just because I'm trying to demo and review it for you guys. For today, I'm going to use the Ambient Lighting Powder. Um, just to set my under eyes. And the color that I use is Diffused Light. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm going to use the Max Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. This is a really nice light powder. And I'm going to use it in the color Medium. Because I'm really light. And just lightly dab it. Just to set the foundation so it doesn't come off. For my bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the color Golden Light. This is one of their lighter shades. This is definitely one of my favorite bronzers. Um, it just feels like the most natural. It's matte, and I honestly would definitely repurchase this one. The blush that I'm going to use is Milani's Berry Amore. This is their baked blush and number three, and I think this is a really nice, oh, gorgeous neutral blush. Only thing I gotta say about these uh, Milani brushes, blush is not a bad thing, but they are really pigmented, so be a little light-handed with it when you first brush it on. And I like to start a little bit higher with my blush personally, because I have a round face, so we gotta try to lift the face a little bit more. For, for my highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use the Becca Opa highlight. Choose whatever highlight you like. Um, I just like this one and I wanted to use this one today. Gorgeous. And to kind of um, add my highlight, I'm actually using this e.l.f. A blush brush and I really like this for highlight. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. I like to add a little bit over here. And then I'll just go in with my fluffy face powder brush and just blend it all out. And this one is by Real Techniques. Just blend everything together. Especially the cheeks and the bronzer. So it doesn't look streaky. But the highlights sometimes as well. So I went ahead and did my lighter off camera because I have not figured out how to do it on camera where my hand isn't blocking it but I use the liquid liner by L'Oreal the liner intense in the black version and I really like this to do my wing liquid liner and then I use um, red cherry wispy lashes and honestly if you don't know what type of lashes to get I would definitely as starter lashes recommend wispies if not if you think that's too much I would definitely just start off with a demi wispies and work your way up to lashes and I feel like that's really helped me want to try different ones now I'm just gonna go back in and finish up my lower lash line and I'm gonna take that same color that I used on my crease. I'm just gonna take that with the pencil brush and just brush that right underneath my lower lash line just to kind of bring everything together. And as you can see, it's just 
It just adds a little something. And then just to kind of add effect, I normally like to add some sort of color to my actual lash line to kind of press it in there. And that's the only thing about this palette, I wish they had like a dark brown or a black. But they do have kind of like this burgundy color on the third roll, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that one right here. That's the darkest color I can find, but it still works. And I'm just going to take that with a flathead type of brush, and this is a one from Sigma. This is the E15. It's just a nice definer brush, and I really like this for my lower lash line, and I'm just taking that really close to my lash line just to kind of define it a little bit because it does make a nice difference in like photos. So just kind of pressing it in there to kind of get the most pigmentation. And I don't like to go all the way in because um, then it can make my eyes look a little bit smaller. So just about maybe like a third of the way in, just kind of stopping a little bit to the middle. I just go back in with that pencil brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit. So it kind of fades into the inside rather than look really harsh. Then just to give my eyes a little bit of pop, I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in the color Nude. And this is definitely my favorite nude eyeliner. And I like to pop this in my eyes especially for very neutral looks so my eyes appear larger or just like daytime looks in general as opposed to like a brown or a black. So you can kind of see, so you can kind of see the difference. Then I'm just gonna take my mascara, any mascara because you really don't need it for your upper lashes, just to kind of blend. But it doesn't matter which one you use. Honestly, we use falsies. So um, a new one that I'm trying out, maybe I'll do a review for you guys. This is the Rimmel Wonder Lash, and this is one of their newer ones. It's mascara with argan oil. So I've been testing it out, um, and uh, let me know if you specifically want me to do a review on it. I might just do it. Then for the lips, this is actually my favorite part, and you can use any combo that you want, but I just kind of like this one. I'm taking NYX Mauve Lip Liner and lining my lips. Then I'm going to go ahead and take one of the new NYX High Voltage Lipsticks, and this is in the color Playdate, and we're going to mix it, actually. So I like to put this one first and kind of like tap it on. You can put as little or you can put as little or as much as you want and then blend that in with my fingers. You can leave the lips like this if you want to, that's a fun color for the spring. But I want to step it up a notch and mix it with this stone lipstick, same collection, high voltage, and I love this lipstick by itself, or to mix it with either Playdate or Flutter Kiss. And I really love this lipstick combo. It's kind of like that new kind of purplish gray beige color that's coming out. Um, but for a cheaper price, honestly, these are only $6. And NYX is going to have buy one, get one 50% off starting the 15th of March. So definitely check those out because that's only $9 for this lip combo. Whereas this lip combo, I've seen it for like $20, $18. And so for half the price, I really like this. It's on trend. <laughs> that's kind of coming out. Like I know LA Splash has that ghoulish color and Lime Crime has as a cashmere but we're not buying line crime anymore um go check out the controversy about that but i know i'm not gonna buy line crime and i really wanted that cashmere color but i was like we're gonna skip it and make our own color instead then just to kind of enhance some dewiness and glow i'm gonna go ahead and take this max fix plus and just spray it all around my face then I just took some of that L'Oreal Makeup Setting Spray and just sprayed that all over my face because Max Fix Plus isn't a setting spray, it is a refresher, so I really like it for my dry skin. It just adds that dewiness back to my skin that I need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's about it for the lips. I love this lip combo. I love custom mixing lipsticks, and I really like how creamy those NYX high voltage lipsticks are, so it really makes it easy to mix. So the creamier, the better, the easier it is to mix. Um, if you want to see some more lip swatches from that line, I got about a couple more colors so I'll link down below my lip swatch video so you guys can check out more colors and some of the other one of the other custom mix that I did with stone and flutter kiss I love that color it's definitely very unique and it's, it's happening right now so make sure to subscribe so you guys can keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time